Assalamu alaikum hi friends it's Injila Shafat here and i welcome you all to my channel radiology fundamentals if you are new to my channel hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon to watch my next lecture of radiology fundamentals let's start our today's topic which is five interactions of radiations with matter and let's discuss the first one which is compton scattering i'll be explaining you this with the help of a diagram i hope you can see the diagram very well it's a very simple diagram so what happens the incident photon which is outside the atom it comes in a very fast speed and accelerates towards the electron which electron the electron which is loosely bound okay it's a loosely bound electron of atom so it collides with a loosely bound electron of an atom or we can say free electron which is unattached to the atom okay so after collision what happens this incident photon is, is scattered to the towards the other direction you can see it it comes from this direction and scattered from here so it's scattered towards the other direction means it changes its direction and it passes its few energy to the loosed electron and takes it out from the atom you can see here it has taken out the electron out in from the different direction so this photon of the collision will lose its few energy you have to make a note here that this incident photon of the collision loses loses its few energy why because few of the energy is being transferred into the loose electron so when it loses its few energy it automatically change its energy plus wavelength is also changed because uh, whenever there is a change in a wavelength there is a change in energy and whenever there is a change in energy there is a change in wavelength all right so it obtains different energy plus wavelength you can observe it here it has here got different wavelength and here it's something different wavelength here it's a short here it's long so means here the energy is uh, high and here the energy is less whenever there is a short wavelength there is a high energy and whenever there is a long wavelength the energy is less now here it is it's an equation of energy energy is equivalent to h into c divided by wavelength here h is a planck's constant c is speed of light which is 3 into 10 power is 8 meter per second and this symbol it's called as wavelength this is a symbol of wavelength all right so energy is equivalent to planck's constant into speed of light divided by wavelength when we talk about planck's constant it lays the energy in one photon that means how much energy is in one photon as compared to frequency of that photon so we can say it's a physical constant denoted by h all right it is equivalent to 6 into 6261 sorry 6.626176 into 10 power is minus 34 joule seconds you need to make a note here that from this compton scattering this interaction of, from this interaction of compton scattering we Uh, we got we got get to produce bremsstrahlung x rays so the bremsstrahlung x rays are formed due to compton scattering all right now you can simply define bremsstrahlung x rays as x rays from from collision of photon and loose electron of an so after compton scattering our next uh, interaction will be photoelectric effect If you have watched my previous video, that was all about photoelectric effect. I have discussed it there. You can go through that video for more information about photoelectric effect, and the link of that video is mentioned in the description of this video. As already studied, the photoelectric effect produces characteristic X rays. So let's move towards the third interaction, that is coherent scattering. It is very simple as 
this interaction is not used in radio diagnosis but still we can we should know a little bit of it what happens in this interaction photon with a high energy tries to hit the nucleus all right as its target fine but while traveling it loses its energy and diverges from the other side and goes or moves or leaves to the atom so it moves out leaves the atom so here no proper interaction happens so no collision happens so if there is no formation of radiation here it's very really much simple interaction which is not used in radio diagnosis our fourth interaction is pair production fine this interaction also don't occur in the diagnostic energy range so they have no importance in diagnostic radiology here what happens same as coherent scattering a high energy photon interacts with the nucleus of an atom here the photon is disappeared means we are not able to see it and its energy is changed into matter in in the form of two parts one is electron negative charge and the other is positron what is positron it is same as electron behaves as an electron but it has sorry it behaves as positive charge but it has a mass of electron so positron is a particle with the same mass as an electron but with a positive charge so in pair production it produces two electron masses all right it has got two electron masses well, one is a positron and the other is electron electron has sorry positron has gets got same mass as of electron as mentioned here make a note here that this interaction takes place only with a photon energy less than 1.002 mega electron volt mega electron volt is a unit of energy in electron. now let's move to our fifth and the last interaction which is photo disintegration this interaction also do not occur in the diagnostic energy range so so it also don't have importance in diagnostic radiology in this integration the photon having very high energy takes out the part of nucleus of an atom out as we already know nucleus is made up of proton and neutron so either proton is taken out or neutron is taken out of the nucleus of an atom the photon which takes out which takes out the part of nucleus out of the atom should have sufficient energy to overcome nucleus nuclear binding energy nuclear binding energy means the energy that holds the nucleus together so it must have sufficient energy so that it could take the um, part of nucleus out of it so it should have enough binding energy so that the part of nucleus comes out and the energy range should be 7 to 15 mega electron volt this was all about the interaction of radiations with matter my next topic will be about x ray tube so for any queries or questions or any confusions you can comment in a comment section or you can dm me on my instagram id mentioned in the description of video if you want to want the notes of the lectures for that too you can also dm me on my instagram id thanks for watching take care